So, good morning, everyone. Good morning. And um, I know that we, we cannot uh, keep ourselves insulated from it. So, recently there has been a sickness going around the world that's been affecting some people, quite a few people. Have you heard of the name of it? Do you know what this oh, is? Oh, Coronavirus, I know, it's not very good. <laughs> um, and a lot of people are afraid because the uh, you know, medical experts and scientists and doctors and nurses and other medical professionals, they've never seen anything exactly like it and they don't exactly know what to do to help people. So that's why they're so scared and afraid. But it's important to remember that God is in control of everything and he has the power to heal. Um, and in the Bible, there are actually a lot of stories about miraculous healing um, of sick people and even bringing dead people back to life after they've been sick. Um, there are just a few stories that I thought of when I was thinking about this um, for today. The first one is about Naaman. Do you remember what uh, the story about Naaman? What, what disease did he have? Do you remember? It starts with, it starts with an L. It was leprosy, um, and back then, they didn't have medicine like we do these days that could help leprosy, and so people were really scared of people who had leprosy, because they were afraid that they might catch leprosy from that person, so that person was really an outcast. They had the ultimate social distancing with leprosy, <laughs> and they couldn't um, even come in contact with their family members. They had to live in little leprosy colonies, and they would bring food to them, um, so they really... Um, didn't, you know, they were very scared of that disease. Um, but do you remember the prophet Elisha, who was given power from God, what did he tell Naaman to do? Remember? No? Go in the mud? Okay, almost, yeah. Go in the muddy Jordan River. That's right. And Naaman didn't like that. He's like, I'm, I'm a high official. I'm not going to go in the, any muddy river. But after he listened to his um, servants, he went in and washed seven times, and his leprosy was immediately healed, right? Okay. And there was another um, little girl um, that uh, was, uh, the, her father was named Jairus, and that was in the New Testament. And Jairus came to Jesus and said, please come heal my little girl. But for some reason that Jesus knew, he delayed, and the little girl died. But um, he, afterwards, Jesus went to her house and took her by the hand and raised her back to life from the dead. Um, and there was another story in the Old Testament, the widow of Nain. Um, her son was, uh, her son died, but <clears throat> Jesus gave Elisha power to help raise her, him, I'm sorry, from her back to life as well. Um, so we really know that Jesus can heal and protect us if it is his will. And also, he has actually given us ways that we can keep our bodies healthy and our immune systems up. Right? What, do you know some ways that we can stay healthy? Eating good food, that's right. If we avoid eating a lot of sugar, right, that lowers our immunity, and we eat good foods like, what are some good foods? Carrots, yep. <laughs> vegetables and fruits and grains and nuts that Jesus has given us to eat. That's one way that we can stay healthy. Another way we're hearing about all the time is what? Wash our hands, right? Always wash our hands, don't touch our face. He's also given us a lot of plants and herbs that actually work like medicine to heal our body, right? Isn't it amazing that he created the medicine that can help heal us? Um, and actually, right now, we're lucky that we live in Florida because we can get out in the sunlight, right? Which is really a great way to kill germs. Amen. <laughs> I, I was looking at the weather in the Midwest. Unfortunately, they're still in winter. <laughs> um, and then, of course, drinking a lot of good water can keep us healthy. And then one of the best ways is actually by praying. Research has actually shown that when we pray, it, ha it can help us keep healthy and boost our immune systems. And the best thing is that we can remember God's promises, and so we won't be afraid. Yeah. And um, so we're going to look at a Bible verse, which is Psalm 102. And... Oh, sorry, 103. Psalm 103. And I'm going to read the first um, three verses. Praise the Lord, 
my soul, all my inmost being, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. So he not only forgives us our sins, but he can heal us from our diseases. Okay, let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much um, that you love us and that you are in control even when the world seems a little bit out of control. And please help us to remember and thank you for all the things you've given us to help protect our bodies. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you.